back with Bobby and JJ Radio. We have Miss Annie Hutspeth here in the studio. She's with the U.S. Small Business Administration. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for hanging out with us. <laughs> thank you for having me. So, so I heard you've been with uh, with SBA for a little bit of oh, time. Yes, a little while. Like it's kind of a decade, a couple <laughs> decades. A couple, couple, yes. Couple decades. How do you? So how did you to get in with SBA? Um, I actually came from USDA, so um, did some rural lending out with the USDA Rural Development Association and um, found out that SBA kind of does the same thing on the business side. So thought I would try to get over here in San Antonio to work with the Small Business Administration. Because you're a San Antonio girl, right? I am. So you're just trying to get back? Trying to get back. And you got here? I am. Congratulations. Thank you. So let's talk about... um, Let's talk about the STEM program, STEP program, sorry, STEP program. Uh, What is it and uh, who can use this awesome thing? Okay, yes, great. Well, thank you so much. I'm really excited about having the opportunity to share this information with you. Sure. Um, The STEP grant or the STEP program is a um, state trade expansion program. And Texas was awarded this year um, after two years of not being um, awarded. We finally got approved for this year. So we're really excited about it. Um, we it's we were awarded eight hundred thousand dollars, and um, currently we only have had fifty two applications, and we have five hundred and forty thousand still to Left. spend. So wait, yes. so we got eight hundred grand. Mm-hmm. What's the max that a state gets? Um, the maximum. I mean, was it is it pretty close? It's just shy fifty thousand dollars. So eight hundred fifty thousand. So we almost got the max. We almost got the max. So who can apply and what can it be used for? Yeah. So um. Any small business that is looking to get into exporting, um, any an state, example. I should say state, mm-hmm. the Texas, any Texas, Texas company, small business company sure. um, that's looking to export, um, they have to have been in business for a year. Okay. Um, they have to meet our size standard, which is less than 500 employees. Um, and then to... Well, to apply, was that the next? Sure. How do you apply? Well, um, it is. So let me just tell you that the step is um, one of 43 states that was approved. So Texas is one of 43 states. Mm-hmm. Um, it is it, it is funded in part through a cooperative agreement with the Small Business Administration. Mm-hmm. And the Texas Department of Agriculture was awarded this year. And so you would have to apply through the um, texasagriculture.com. That's one you can go to um, www.texasagriculture.com, the website there, or you can send an email to grants at texasagriculture.com, or there's also a 1-800 number, and that number is 1-800-835-5832. So again, that's um, 1-800-835-5832. Or the email address is grants at texasagriculture.gov, mm-hmm. and the website, again, is texasagriculture.gov. So, so it sounds, yeah, it sounds like there's not a lot of people taking advantage of these grants. Is there a reason why? I think it's just that you they're haven't not... Because you have been on Bobby and JJ Radio Exactly. Yet. I'm now I'm sure. expecting a, yeah. a big inflection. I think there's going to be a flood of... You know, <laughs> I hope more, so. We're going to need more money. So, so yeah. if you're a business owner, you have less than 500 employees, um, and you're looking to... Ex- give me an example of a business that would, that would that could use this. Um, any business as a product or a service that they're wanting to export. Um, some of the reasons that you can use it, um, the step grant is, or the step program is specific on um, whether you want to attend a trade show, a trade mission, um, anywhere outside of the U.S. Mm-hmm. Um, also for um, training and education or um, building your business plan and market research and counseling, um, consulting on exporting, and then also to um, do transla- translations on your brochures or websites. Um, so it's pretty broad. It is pretty broad. So it's not like you have to go and start just trading day one, like you're, you're exporting all your product. And just you, you can start to prepare to export your product. Absolutely. And you can get help from this. So it looks like the Texas Agriculture, so SBA is giving money, and then they, they fund this grant. And then you guys are in charge, or now you guys take applications to see who's eligible for those grants, and then you just allocate them as mm-hmm. as as they see fit. Right. So I'm with the Small Business right. Administration, and so the that. SBA does is a co um, the co sponsored um, agreement sure. with the um, Texas. Department of Agriculture. Gotcha. So actually the state of Texas, so the governor's office of the state um, is the one that manages it, and gotcha. then they are the ones that awarded it to the Texas Department of Agriculture. Gotcha. So the um, Texas Department of Agriculture manages the money. Right. They accept the applications. They do the approval. 
um, and then they'll let them know if they have if they've been approved or is not. Is the application process like vigorous or is it pretty? You know, you know by chance. Um, I I honestly don't know. I know that there's an application. It's because Bob, Bobby makes mariachi pants. <laughs> yes. And he's been looking, not true. And he's been looking for like a lot of research and development, <laughs> but he just hasn't had the time to just go out and really do it on his own. But I think there's a good opportunity for him. I think that would I be actually excellent. import uh, JJ's family from other no, countries. No, that's, so. that's a totally different import. <laughs> We're not and doing this import. Called, it's it's called ex, this is exporting. Yes. I know that's why I can't use it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're trying to export Bobby out of the country, but we can't. Yeah, but if they wanted to just um, enter into a new foreign market, sure. Um, if they're um, it it could be any any product. It could be for your mariachi pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be for um, any type of business. Yeah, sure. Whether it's um, providing a service such as, um, let's say, agriculture or water treatment plant or even hotels. Mm-hmm. Um, we there could also be um, opportunities if they have a widget that mm-hmm. they want to export. Um, whether it's uh, um, countries with Mexico, Canada. Um, Latin America, just several different opportunities. So if they've got a product or service that they want to um, export, just give us a contact, you know, contact us, either myself at the Small Business Administration, I'm with the San Antonio District Office, Mm -hmm. and then we also have the International Trade Center with the Small Business Development Center here in San Antonio as well, and they can assist with that um, program. So small business owner of 500 or less, you go to texasagriculture.gov, or you can email at grants at texasagricultural.gov or call them at 800-835. 5832. Again, that's 800 835 5832. And take a quick break. Be right back with Bobby and JJ Radio.